Introduction Theory of Time Time and space were defined by the early classical science creators. They predicted all their experiences related to time and space in and around their own environment. Measurements with rulers and rods, even before that, were the foremost of all the measurement types. Motion of the bodies and the ancient clocks for calculating time were the initial attempts. Galilean reference frame was used as a pivotal point of reference to arrive at further predictions. This basic principle of relativity with the laws, based on a reference frame, was again reinstated by the findings of Einstein later on. Specific theory of relativity was put forth for the very first time by Einstein. It was the second postulate of Einstein which brought in controversial opinions to the earlier finders of the classical theory of science. Light has constant speed regardless of any point of reference frame, said Einstein. It was accepted by the whole world and it is being followed in practice all until now with the speed of light being assumed as a constant as per the formula E equals mc square. First, time is not related to the scalar distance. Second, without using any particles, time and space definitions were arrived using the key parameters as per Einstein. Third, Three dimensions were only found to be or assumed to be existing all until today from the days of Einstein. Fourth, distance and the time theory of Einstein consider or take into account of these three dimensions alone. Fifth, new theories that are postulated these days have more dimensions and valid proofs to support their claims as well. It was in 1929, great scientists who made some revolutionary researches and found some fascinating facts formed a few postulates. Landmark observation of Edwin Hubble is that the galaxies are only moving from us constantly at a rapid pace. It means anyone can assume that the universe is expanding at a rapid rate than what anyone can imagine to be. Earlier days, the objects might have been close, but with time, they are firstly deviating from one another. The density of the universe used to be infinite when most of all these galaxies remained together 30 millions of years ago. Yes, that was the beginning of the universe. That led to the new questions and the answers like Big Bang theories sooner or later from other parts of the world. Infinitesimally small universe with infinite dense mass burst out during the Big Bang to have formed the universe that anyone see currently. This is the basics, yet there is a long way to go to understand the whole astronomical science altogether. Motion of bodies The present ideas what anyone has about the motion of bodies in the 21st century is not updated any further since the ages of Newton and Galileo. Before that, it was the teachings of Aristotle that was assumed to be right. It was all purely based on the thoughts with no evidences in the form of mathematical formulae, though. The Aristotle theories were different from that of Galileo's and Newton's. The later observations were backed by math and science by and large. Are these the final precise measurements of time and space? Certainly not. This is not the final answer to all the questions. Even though the human advancements in science and technology have gone by far from that era, the basic assumptions are all purely governed by the Newton's three laws of motion. Are these laws completely precise? What does the theory of relativity has to say about that? Why that is then there is huge difference between the time and space measured in the different planets in the same ways. Why is the speed of light a constant then? Chapter 1. Relativity Theory Before understanding what is the relativity theory, first, it is good to grasp the idea that it is not proven yet. Looking at the energy and mass at the quantum level, the worldwide researchers and the profound scientists have continuously found a lot of flaws. Guess, for instance, the speed of light and the number of formulae that are derived based on the speed of light. There are numerous problems that were solved earlier in the engineering and basic physics assuming the speed of light to be as it is assumed now. Yet it is found that light can travel even faster than what it was assumed to be. What does that show? 
It means anyone know only a bit about the real potential of light or light matter. Anyone are having a relative idea alone, but there are much more facts that anyone are not aware of. The time theory is shedding enough light on all these essentials. For example, one minute as per the Earth dwellers is not the same one minute in different other part of the space. For a man in Jupiter, the time taken in one minute is not the same as that of the man on Earth. There is a lot of difference based on where anyone is in space. The first ever postulate of special relativity. Particle matter and research revealed a lot of facts later on. The probability of a particle's location is not something that is easy to identify though, as it took years for researchers to arrive at the right postulates for the classical fourth dimension. Basic understanding so far by the physicists around the world is that there are at least ten dimensions. Unless and until anyone get to see pictures like Avatar, our mind is only exposed to realizing something like the 2D flat movies, even though anyone only assumed the depth or width in the two-dimensional models. Yet, when anyone gets a chance to see the three-dimensional movie presentation, like Avatar, it is impossible for anyone to comprehend an idea on how it would be to watch a three-dimensional movie and realize the wonders before getting used to it over a period. Similar, when there is no idea about the fourth dimension today, it is hard to realize about the existence of the other dimensions. Yet, when the other dimensions are introduced eventually, then it is possible to get used to all the ten dimensions that are under research so far. To see beyond is something that is taught to us very earlier by authors of great novels like Flatland by Edwin Abbott. Fourth dimension time is inseparable easily from the space. Gravity is only a bent in the space-time relationship. In our three-dimensional world considerations, it is possible to move in any direction, but with time there is only forward direction. So how about the fourth dimension or other dimensions that may or not permit the possibility to travel in the reverse direction of time? Basically, fourth dimension can be assumed like a perpendicular drawn to the cube. If that is the case, is it possible to travel against time or reverse to it in the fourth dimension? Is that called as a time machine too? The fiction stories might have confused the humans by far with the wrong assumptions that were made in the past. There are no evidences for the existence of time machines, but it is one of the most fascinating imaginations of the researchers and the novelists is the time travel machine. There is nothing discovered so far as a real time travel machine. Even if there are any possibilities there for any one such machine to exist, it is certainly unknown of any researcher out there on the world as of today. The possibilities are remote, but even then the popularity of such fiction stories in and around the world are quite prevalent. Those stories got recognition and the novelists add on to the substance to lure in the attention of the assets around the globe. That could be the real reason for the success behind the time travel machine fiction stories all over the world today. Other than that, the mathematicians and the scientists are only trying to find the fourth dimension to be in real existence, but have not found anything solid so far. If that exists and found, then it may be possible to get the answers to so many questions like time travel to the past or time travel towards the future. It is tough to imagine, but the real possibilities can be identified with further researches in that zone coming out to be fruitful. Distance between Sun and Earth Anyone knows the distance between Sun and Earth today. Yet how far is the distance between Sun and Earth that anyone calculated is right? No one knows that, though. On top of all of that, it is possible for us to guess how long it would take for the light to travel and hit the Earth's atmosphere approximately. It is believed as eight minutes. That goes to show something pretty solid. Distance between Sun and Earth is such that if there are any changes that are happening in the universe closely related to Sun, then anyone are only able to see the difference after eight minutes or so, when anyone realizes that there is no more heat coming from Sun to Earth. Distance between Sun and Earth can change when the Sun goes farther away from Earth regardless of the gravity, but that can be felt on Earth only after eight minutes. 
It means anyone are assuming the sun to be stationary as usual all until the eighth minute, by when sun might have actually gone so farther than where it used to be. If that is the case between the sun and the earth, then what could be the case with the farthest planets and the stars out there? Sun and earth belong to the same solar system with a great affinity. Earth is just fourth planet for sun with definite gravity. These are not farther from one to the other. Distance between sun and earth is not big when compared to Jupiter, Neptune and Pluto from the sun. Distance between sun and earth, as well as from Neptune and earth, are way different, but all until Pluto it is just one and the same solar system. So imagine if something happens away from the solar system. Imagine what could be the case with the things happening from the galaxy as a whole. Solar system belongs to Milky Way galaxy. If the Milky Way galaxy is not limited to one solar system, but so many thousands of other systems like that, then imagine how far it could be to go beyond our galaxy. There are millions of galaxies just like our Milky Way galaxy in the universe. Can anyone imagine how big the universe is? Galaxies like our Milky Way galaxies are too many in the universe. There are billions of galaxies in the universe. With the biggest telescope that anyone has on Earth today, anyone can see 100 billion galaxies to be present as of today. By the time anyone comes up with something far more powerful and effective than Hubble, the number of galaxies may exceed 200 billion too. If one galaxy like ours, where the solar system is here, is so huge enough to contain so many suns and stars and planets, then imagine how big the universe is with 200 billion galaxies and more. To know about the entire universe, or to read this magnanimity even by a fractional margin, anyone needs to come up with precise knowledge about time and space. Yet humans today on the planet Earth are only having menial knowledge about time and space travel. Light years are the measurement for distance when it comes to measuring the astronomical facts and figures. The distance between Sun and Earth is such that the light takes about 8 minutes to travel to reach the Earth. 150 million light years is one astronomical unit. The distance between Sun and Pluto is the farthest. The solar system spans to diameter of three times this distance. It means the solar system is really big and there are so many such systems in the Milky Way galaxy. The diameter of Milky Way galaxy is incomparable to so many other giant galaxies like Hercules A or M62 and so forth. Certainly there is no doubt to call the universe to be infinite something to even imagine about it. On top of all of that, if it is a proven fact that the universe is constantly expanding in its size, then it is certainly beyond our imagination to comprehend the facts about universe or its contents, like black holes, antimatter or the dark energy. Still anyone have a long way to go or infinite distance to cover when it comes to studies related to astrophysics. As the assumptions about the speed of flight goes wrong, so are the assumptions about the dark matter or the Big Bang or antimatter. So what is theory of relativity all about? All the measurements that anyone does are not absolutely right, but only relatively right to the extent to what anyone has made speciation and regulations in various fields so far. Let it be the metal industry or molten metal industry or the aerospace or anything else. All are being taught in the schools and the colleges and in the universities. All are being used in varied industries as acceptable measurements to follow and used to make new metals, raw materials or even finished products. How far these are right and how too it is acceptable to use that in the airspace industries or astronomical discoveries. Chapter 2 Perceiving the Distance-Time Relationship Light cone is one of the important tools that are accepted by the world scientists and the researchers to provide illustrations about the time travel. Light cone center is the present time. A light cone is just like the clocks of the past, where sand falls from one bulb to that of the other through an orifice. Amount of time taken from one bulb to the other through the orifice denotes the time to be measured. 
The time taken for the sand to fall from one bulb to get filled in the other bulb is taken as a standard measure of means for calculating time when the tournaments and events are conducted between thousands of participants. Olympics running is a classical example. When anyone is to decide the winner, the clock is used to find the exact time the winning champion has taken to reach the target. The time period is weighed in grams and then the winning record is bookmarked. This is one kind of measure to get to know the real amount of time needed to accomplish a task in an event. The same ways light cone functions in such a way that the central part of the light cone indicates the present time, while the above cones are denoting the future years to come. The cones below are nothing but the years that are passed by. Taking into account of 2017 as the central cone, the past so many years will be covered in the cones below 2017. Above this centre will the cones that are to come for the future. The future cones are built on concentric ripples about the centre. Just like how concentric ripples are formed when a stone is thrown on a lake or pond, the concentric ripples above the centre are future ages to come. Combining the peripheries, or the circumference, or the diametric edges of all these circles, it is possible to form the future cones. The future cones are three-dimensional too. All the cones are drawn only in the three-dimensional platform while there can be more than three dimensions that are in existence already. There are evidences, theories and proofs that are supporting the evidences for further dimensions today. The next immediate one to the present three-dimensional theory is the classical fourth dimension. Time travel is said to be possible only because of the availability of the fourth dimension or the further other dimensions. When there is possibility for the next dimension, there is no need to rely on the three-dimensional cones set up alone. The light cone can further be reached into various zones of its own through the fourth or the fifth or the sixth or any number of dimensions provided if there is any possibility to do so. Experts are of the definite opinion that there are aliens all over the universe on different planets and galaxies too who are super intelligent and incomparable to the humans on Earth. They are travelling to different parts of the universe only because of this possibility of classical fourth dimension and its existence. They are able to travel more than the speed of light only because they are able to bypass the dimensions during the travel from one dimension to that of the other with the speed of light, or even far more than that. When anyone is travelling at the speed of light, how long will it take to reach the planets far and wide, and what is all the safety measures needed? Is there only one life for these aliens, or they are living more than hundred years? Questions are unlimited, but our knowledge is limited. This knowledge can be extended by far with the best researches that are being conducted to bring in valuable derivations and formulae to better understand time and space. When anyone is not completely aware of the secrets to move from one dimension to that of the other, while travelling at the speed of the light, eliminating the hindrances that come in the way, it is not easy to travel space in total confidence. Remember, the space is filled with full of dangers of diverse kind. Universe is filled with dark matter, black holes and so forth. Above all, the planets that are about to deform and the fragments of the volatile planets and many other threats like meteors and craters can add on to the risks further. Travelling at the speed of light Just because of all the above-mentioned limitations and the limited knowledge that anyone has so far about the relativity of time and space, anyone is not equipped with the best of the equipment in our arsenal to combat with the aliens or to travel to other parts of the universe with ease. Yet there are so many evidences that confirm the fact that the aliens have a great role to play in the good old constructions of the past. UFOs are real. There are evidences for that too. Stephen Hawking confirms that fact too. Even in his recent publications, he confirmed the possibility of the ailments unarguably. The speed of fraud measurements That is not the way to do so but that is the only means anyone has readily in hand to assess or assume the situations to be rather that without knowing anything at all. When the speed of light is not as it is being used in the formulae, constants are used in the formulae otherwise. It means the constants' values are not precise, they are just approximations. 
These approximations can lead one to find only approximate answers, but not the precisely right answers at any point of time. Yet these formulae are being used in all the industries and these answers are assumed to be right by all the global citizens today. So it is basically through assumptions that the world is running and not on reality or based on the actuality. Rod and Clock Measurements Measurements were made with the rods and the rulers initially. Later on, the measurements were made using the standard units to introduce measuring tapes of varied kind. Distance between Sun and Moon, or Earth, is measured successfully to precision today with the help of the knowledge that anyone gained through relativity. Time is not right, though. Distance is not right as well. It is approximate value that anyone is having in hand which is not precise. The close-to-reality situation today prevailing is just because of the reliance on the good old law of motions from Newton, with no one yet coming forward to refine and fine-tune the equations of motion to arrive at much more quantified results. If that is the case, then it is not possible to match with the superhuman standards of the aliens quite sooner. To learn from the aliens, it is essential to travel around the galaxy, or even from one galaxy to that of the other. There are other types of alternative routes too. It is to invite the aliens to our planet Earth. When the aliens are not disturbing us, or if they are not attacking us, then there are big changes that can come into our understanding to improvise our technology. The technology is far reliant on the basic formula that is being in use today to calculate the distances in light years. Some other ancestors assume dilation of distance time. Physics is a complex subject to understand, and especially something like the quantum theory or the quantum effect has to be explained to the common man with best details. That is to ensure that there is perfect understanding about the Doppler effect of matter. So, if that it is the case, then how about the other aspects? What about a light cone? There is relativistic kinematics. There are so many other things too, like the distance-time manifold. Earth to be flat or in other shape as they assume it to be. It was identified by Galileo only after so many years of human existence in the planet that Earth is spherical in shape. Spherical shape, again, is a controversy all until now. Well, there are microtelescopes that have come into the picture today to substantially support that claim, there could be microvariations in the contour or the Earth's crust that may not precisely permit anyone to accept Earth to be a precise sphere. Same is the case with Sun or Moon or the shape of the other planets too. Yet the formulae that are used to do math are assuming Earth to be a sphere and using the related parameters in the formulae of varied kind. When the spherical shape is not true by 100%, then the answers that anyone gets out of using the formulae are not right as well. It can be too far away from the actual results. Time is never a vector. Newton's third law and the first law are important to understand the equations of motion in particular. The photonic distance time can be figured out with keen analyses. A matter wave at rest is a complex subject to comprehend for the commons, though. Travel via a here now. Yeah, that is possible only when anyone can understand the time relative to me. It is not tough, though. The global here now can vary too. These variations are true. They are changing constantly in some cases too, as the shape of Earth is consistently changing with time since its very first existence. The shape is supposed to deform in centuries to come as well as it is easily understandable for the researchers, scientists and even for the students as well. The deformation is continuously happening, but the rate at what the deformation is happening is unimaginable for the common man. So all the calculations are made only on the assumptions in a relative manner to be far away from the reality. Scalar Coordinate if anyone is not able to understand the relationship of distance time of the visible space, then anyone may not be able to comprehend perfectly about the speed limit too. What is the rest speed and what is A here now? If anyone is aware of all these fundamentals, then only anyone will come to an understanding about the inventions as well. 
There are perfectionists who come up with complex formula often only after detailed understand about quantum physics and Euclidean continuum. As the size of the Earth or the space or the universe is all magnanimous from what anyone could imagine them to be, the calculations are giving us a relatively answer which is most often 80% or even more close to the actuality. It can vary by far for someone who does the similar calculations from the crust of Jupiter or Mars. That is where the relativity comes into the picture. That is where the relative theory of time comes into the picture too. So it is all about how anyone are setting up the standards to be universally accepted and followed by all of us. Anyone set the standards and anyone follows that in planet Earth, but that cannot work in the same way as it does here in the Jupiter or Mars. Gaussian coordinates So many scholars are ready to present papers on the topic of a Euclidean continuum. It does not lead to any successful findings all until now, though. Time and space boundaries are there always. After the instincts were completely discredited, the pure explanations of the behaviour transitioned to the very notion of needs. To define need, precisely, it is nothing but disequilibrium in the normal state of mindset. Anyone can otherwise define it to be a deficiency too. Yes, it is a deficiency that has the potential to energise you. It is the deficiency that is capable of triggering behavioural response in you. The need's cause can be psychological or physiological or biological and it varies from one time to that of the other, from one person to that of the other. Murkowski's four-dimension space it is essential to understand the principle of relativity first of all. That is when anyone learns the boundaries too. Social triggers are also there and that could be a need for a social interaction. When there is a need, there is a motivation in the individual to act. This act will gain back his state of stable equilibrium. He is complacent in his mind that the deficiency or the need is banished with its fulfilment to gain back normality once again. Murray's theory for needs states that the needs are actually activated by the external cues in the environment around. Maslow had a different perspective, though. He defined the need as a positive capacity in individuals to upgrade their life quality and standards. Relativity and the problem of space Learn more about the gravitational field. It varies from our planet to the other. Maslow had his own theory that categorized need in terms of its hierarchy as five general needs. Each and every one of us possess the basic five needs in this universe. Anyone can categorize the hierarchy to be from the lowest to the highest in potential wants. All the sensory needs and the must for us to survive, right from the food anyone eats, to the oxygen anyone breathes, to the water that anyone drinks, and so on. It includes sex for the sensual satisfaction, too. The Galilean system of coordinates. Learn the experiences and the special theories of relativity. When anyone has the basic need fulfillment, then comes in the security and the safety needs to the surface. Stability, protection, dependence, affection, love, romance and so on with selective individuals. With selective individuals will all come under this type of needs. The need to structure and the liberty from fear or anxiety will all come under the same classification too. Security and the safety needs in the individuals will vary by far and this is what that allows them to focus their earned or saved energy to exclusively get rid of their threats. Space and time in classical mechanics It is a must to learn the Euclidean and non-Euclidean continuums too. Time theory can be better understood in that way. Emotional love can come under this category. It can be a mere friendship or eternal romantic affair. All the individuals that are not able to satisfy this type of need in the society where they live to get affection from the children, siblings, relatives and the neighbours will have to suffer from pain of rejection and loneliness. Postulate of Relativity Desire for the self-esteem and the self-respect is actually termed as egoistic need. It can either be focused externally or sometimes internally too. Desire for strength evolves just because of the ego that is focused internally. It needs not to be associated with strength alone. 
It can be freedom, achievements, adequacy, and even confidence for that matter. Special and General Principle of Relativity When there is enough understanding about the principle of relativity, then there is clarity in understanding the concepts of the system of coordinates. Learn the further steps leading to the Lorentz transformation. Pros are conversant in the general results of the theory. Learn the core aspects about the relativity of simultaneity. While focused externally, then the egoistic needs can lead to domination. Prestige and focusing on fame and glory are egoistic needs that are focused externally. Realizing one's own self is actually said to be the most powerful need out of all and it is coming through consistent self-development. Repotency is what Maslow calls these five needs that are based upon the hierarchy as mentioned from the lowest to the highest order. The highest in the hierarchy needs are not important for one when the basic needs are not fulfilled at all, so the importance is for the lowest needs in the hierarchy. Physical meaning of geometrical propositions Special theory about relativity unsatisfactory is what anyone loves to learn about. On an average, any of the working adults out there are having their different needs fulfilled in different proportions. Still, most of them are having their basic needs fulfilled to their higher percentages. Most of them, on an average, only has up to a level of about 10% self-actualization at the most. It is quite common in any community or any race, as a matter of fact, as per Maslow. Maslow estimates these types of facts based upon extensive amount of studies that are conducted from years together in relisting the actual potential in individuals to know them better. Cosmological Difficulties of Newton's Theory Time theory from Newton is contradictory today. Aristotle and Newton had similar opinions, though, when it comes to time theory. Basically, self-actualization can be defined as a process that can develop your true potential as an individual to the maximum possible extent. Anyone can call it to be a right way of expressing your ability, skills or talent or even the emotions in the most completely fulfilling manner for one's own self. It is just a process and anyone cannot confine it to be a state of completion. Reaching any goals cannot actually fulfill anyone's actualization completely. It is a continuous process and anyone can refine it to fine tunes more and more. It varies widely from one person to the other. ERG Theory Biographies of different people that were trying self-actualization were studied by Maslow and then he made the inferences in the form of a clear-cut study report. Yet the limitation here is just the references made from a few individual biographies, while the diversity that exists among the commons is so huge. So the research that is going to support this theory can be weak, but still, the noteworthy points are to be considered as a valid data for effective analysis. Enough research can further be continued from the point where it was left to refine and fine-tune the concepts explained in the ERG theory. Existence needs and the growth needs as well as the relatedness needs are three different types of needs that are formulated as per this theory. On the relativity of the conception of distance It is not a complex task to learn about the time theory, but in-depth understanding is not there with every other reader out there, though. The heuristic values about the theory of relativity is complex to understand, too. Alerta, the successor of Maslow, agreed to everything that was mentioned earlier as a different level of needs, but disagreed with the simple fact that the second or the higher levels of needs will emerge only on the fulfilment of the earlier stage. So condense the hierarchy needs to just three from five as it was mentioned as above as ERG needs. It is all simultaneously active all the time and it can be a motivating factor too. The distance-time premise There are very tools used in measuring space distances and time variations. The finite speed of space is not confined to limits, though. Actually, it's something what the humans are not aware of yet. Actual calculations can vary a bit from the assumptions what are made or sometimes by far from what the humans know so far. It took so many millions of years for the humans to evolve in the planet as a discrete species. 
Soon after the existence, the humans did not find out everything about the planet Earth or the planets of the solar system or the sun or the moon as well. It took so many years for the humans to assess things to a certain extent that go synchronous with the actuality. Before that, there were so many misconceptions and beliefs that existed and trusted by those generations sincerely. Some of those ancestors believed the sun, moon and the stars to be angels. Time theory explains the magnanimous objects of the universe, the dark energy, the antimatter and the correlation between all these universal matters. Men and women are not separated from this by any means whatsoever. Humans are part of Earth. That means they are part of the universal matter too. Changes in special of Earth can have correlations with the changes that happen in the cosmic world too. Conclusion Mystics talk about the spirits of the fourth dimension. When there is no big evidence so far to prove a point about the existence of the other dimensions, or there is no means to see what it is happening in the other dimensions, it is not possible to challenge the beliefs of anyone from anywhere. Time and space relationships have the answer. Assumptions made so far are not completely wrong about the real distances and real time about the universal matter, but surely there are eccentricities. There is a deviation from the actuality. The difference is just because of the lack of precise tools and formula to calculate the actual time and distance or to learn things precisely based on the clear-cut ideas about the actuality. There is nothing to be the Newtonian principles or the equations of motion so far. There is nothing to come up precisely and give the actual speed of light from what is assumed so far since Einstein's time. Despite technological advancements, improvements in these sensitive areas of physics have not come so far to learn more about other dimensions. These studies and the resulting findings could be groundbreaking and revolutionary enough, but at the same time complicated to understand completely and accomplish something to perfection. Time theory has its own limitations, but the interesting and convincing fact is that the findings are almost close to actuality. It is the manumit of the universe that makes the small eccentricity to bring in variations that are out of proportions. Conversions from light years to astronomical units recently can make it differ by far. <laughs>